Hey, what's up everybody? Sean Keenan here. And in this video, I'm going to give you guys a demonstration. And we're going to go ahead and take a look here uh, at our saltwater fish rig 2.0. Okay, so um, nothing really has changed uh, that much between the module system and um, the full rigging solution here. So you'll definitely go ahead and need uh, the ABX picker script. And you can download that script from creativecrash.com. Uh, and it's also available on the home page. Uh, for those guys who uh, know where to get the rig, um, go ahead and uh, download the rig because it is now available. Okay, so let's go ahead here and uh, launch our script so we can take a look at what's going to go, what's going on here inside of the the rig. So, as you can see, we have a GUI that I've changed uh, a little bit. Uh, there really isn't much. Uh, much change, but there is some change here. We have a module system now instead of having um, Just a UI for the characters. We also have that but we have the module system here, so it's um, Allows a little more control to go ahead and show those rigs that needed um, you can see here in the bottom right hand side our layers tab where all the geometry that's currently inside the rig um, They've all been added to their own layer uh, this way that they're referenced so that you guys can actually select the geometry. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring in our first um, character mesh here. And this is going to be the basic fish. Um, for those people who just want to, you know, animate with a basic fish to practice their animation. You know, we have a show and hidden button so we can also show that or hide it. Um, we also have the ability here to connect it to the master control. Okay or have the free animation so that we can you know make sure that that uh, rig is actually going to be free okay let's go ahead and just reconnect this and I'm going to go ahead and hide this because I want to sh show you guys the updates here with the other two modules that are in so let's go ahead and bring in our school fish 3 here and clicking that it just takes a second to load because there's a lot of information that's actually inside of the rig um, and that's normal for um, the two modules that we actually have in the rig already so with this shown let's go ahead and just have this as free animation so you can see where our um, global master control is uh, freely movable as well as the character rig but when you scale this the character rigs are going to um, go ahead and actually scale with it okay and that's fine Okay, so let's also here take a look at each one of our module systems. So our fish group 3 has its own UI, which allows us to have the manual swim as well as the auto swim. So you can always click on the home page button here. You can always click on the rig updates, and that will take you to the page for uh, where you can get the rig updates. Facial controls, we can always go ahead and show those. As you can see, let's go ahead and hide those. Uh, our head, which is, you know, to go ahead and rotate our head control. Uh, our eyes, to select our eyes control, obviously. We can also turn, turn those eyes for free animation or lock them to the head. Okay, so they're free there. Or they're going to be locked. Which is also inside of the channel box here. We have an auto swim setup. So this is going to set your attributes for... Uh, a quick auto swim so if we go ahead and hit quick swim you can see where the um, mesh deforms and if you go ahead and just select the global master control and come down to the swimming node we can go ahead and just simply run that swimming node okay or we can unswim and it's going to set everything back to zero there uh, we have our smooth controller which obviously you know does what it's supposed to do we also have our color changes here for each character. So we'll go to purple, go to teal. You can always go back to blue. Let's take a look at our manual swim. So all these controllers here are for the manual swim. So everything here is for the manual swim. And let's say we want to go ahead and show those. Those are, That's going to bring our manual swim controls into the scene. Go ahead and just rehide those. Our global master, obviously. Okay. Let's just jump back here to our module system here. We're going to go ahead and hide this. Just reconnect it. 
Okay, we'll go ahead and bring in our grouper model. And you're going to see that this is going to come to the scene. This is going to be a fairly large fish. Um, and that's normal because the grouper model actually should be, you know, quite a bit larger than that school fish because that school fish is meant to be a smaller fish. And this is fine. Um, we can always go ahead and free animation this as well. So now we can go ahead and move that and scale it down if we wanted to. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and reconnect that. Go ahead in here and take a look at our grouper UI. So we have all the same controls that set up just the way as our uh, Schoolfish 3. So we have a quick swim and you can see that our body uh, changes its attributes a little bit so that you can just simply select the global master controller, come in here and just run the swim node. So we'll go ahead and unswim on that one. Um, obviously the ice control is all the same here. Um, you can always click on the module demo and this will take you to Vimeo where I explain in depth uh, what the um, what is actually inside the module for the grouper. You can always edit our swim node so if you want to go ahead and pull that um, sign node function into the scene you can go ahead and do that and you can see where the sign node comes in at the back of the grouper model or we can always go ahead and hide that and just simply turn it off just so that you guys don't actually have to uh, have it running in the scene. We also have three different color changes here. So we have our main brown color, our blue, as you can see there, our black and white, as you can see, okay, our global master, obviously you can, you know, rotate, scale, and translate it whatever way that you want. Um, and we also have our smooth controllers. And we also have all of our manual swim controllers for this grouper module. And that is 2.0. So you guys can go ahead and download that from the fish rig link that's actually in the description of the video. Uh, or for those guys who know where, where to go ahead and get the rig, you can go ahead and grab it. And it's, uh, it's ready to go. So thanks for watching.